Okay, well, groovy little title screen going on here, but welcome to what will be the final game for tonight's Fortune Cookie Friday. We're playing Star Tropics. And, uh, well, I've never actually played this game before. I've seen clips of it, sure, but I've never actually played it or watched anybody play it, like, straight up. Um, heard good things. Looks fun. Like, you know, it's kind of like a, like a platformy adventure action-y type game. Um, yeah. I'm kind of excited about it. Anyway, there's this Crescent Island and a helicopter and colorful green and blue and stuff. That's all, huh? That's it, huh? Okay, well, anyway, if this is your jam, welcome to Star Tropics. Let's do it. Um, yeah, came out in 1990, near the end of the Nintendo lifespan. And I am aware there is also a, uh, holy moly. What a random ass amount of bits. Holy shit, Allegory, you are a fucking generous mofo. Thank you for the 20... The 2... I can say that number. 2,740 bits. You are epic as shit, bro. You just wanted to hit the milestone? Oh, you're at 25,000 bits total now. I see you. Well, freaking Allegory, my top bit giver by far. You are the fucking man, sir. Highly appreciate your generosity. You're the freaking man. Um, yes, yay for a five-game Friday indeed. Even if you didn't like soccer. But hey, at least at least we only played it for like ten minutes. So, you know, I could have played it longer and been an a-hole. So anyway, as I was going to say, uh, well, I forgot what I was saying about this game. Um, but honestly, I've never played it, and I didn't realize it had a freaking Legend of Zelda damn uh, fucking screen. You already know we the funky, baby. Like, I'm just gonna be the funk. Sophist the funk. I'm just gonna be the funk. Let's do it. This is exactly like the Zelda screen. Is this made by Nintendo? Is this game actually made, like, by Nintendo? If it is, how come this game hasn't been brought back? Like, why is this series dead? Number one, prelude. One day in summer, you land at Sea Island where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. Okay. Dr. Jones! Man, look how classic this is. It's just like, did somebody make an old school RPG? Nah, this is actually old. Oh, okay. It's almost like if I'd never seen this game before, I'd think it's like a love letter to old games. I mean, it kind of is, it seems like, but like, it's actually this old. It's from 1990, so it's pretty old. All right, hello, people. How are you? Welcome to Cora Co Cor Coral Cola. Cool. Thanks for the welcome, bro. What's up, pig? Oink, oink. Oh, shit. Check out this lady right here. I have to hurry. I'm gonna roast a pig for your welcome party. Oh, sweet, dude. Gotta love the, gotta love the party with the bitches. Mike, you're an ace pitcher, I hear. Show me how to throw a fastball. Wait, what? I'm an ace pitcher? What kind of world are we living in, bro? Welcome to Sea Island. It looks like a big-ass sea from the sky. Oh, I'm... What? Oh, I'm Miss Coral 1990. Do you think I'm pretty? No. Because I'm not a pedophile. Have you met our chief yet? He's waiting for you. Cool. Um, that's cool. Yeah, you can't think little girls are pretty... Unless you're a pedophile, it's the only way. Mike, your uncle told me about you. I feel like we are old friends. That's not true at all. I'm obviously kidding. Don't, don't quote me on that. Your uncle, Dr. Jones, is so nice. We call him Dr. J. Oh, last week I met Dr. J, and he was very busy solving some strange puzzle. Man, this is a very interesting setting we have here. I didn't realize it was like almost like a present-day feel of a setting. Well, present day 1990. Last night I gazed up at the Southern Cross. Suddenly I saw many shooting stars. Legends say shooting stars are omens of disaster. Oh me, oh my. Oh me. Oh me, oh my. Look at those shooting stars in the sky. I heard you were coming. Want to go fishing? Nah, brah, I'm busy. I know, right? My character got a pretty thick behind, though. He got that thick... He's that thick boy. 
Who are you? Stay away from here. Uh, 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 I'm, 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 uh, nephew to Dr. J. Where did you come, where, where do you come from? Americola? Americola. Uh, yeah. Cause I'm a Miracola, baby. Miracola. Get out of here. Alright, is this Dr. J? Holy moly. Put a shirt on, bro. I've been waiting for you. Mm. I'm Chief Coracola, and a good friend of your uncle. I don't like to wear shirts, especially around his, uh, especially around young, you, you know what? Never mind. Listen, Mike, I have some bad news. Last night, try not to be too upset, but your uncle, Dr. Jones, has been abducted. Dun, dun, dun. We must keep this from the islanders so they don't panic. You are the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. I don't know what to do. Can you help? I, uh, um, do I have a choice? Good, you're brave. Here, take this star. You may think this star is just a toy, but it's dangerous to go alone. Mike, you're an ace pitcher. Use it. You've got a star. Yeet. That's a star? Looks like a yo-yo to me. Mike, it looks peaceful around here, but in the dark below, many monsters have appeared these last few years. Don't let them get you. Mike, the fate of your uncle is in your hands. Find a tunnel in the village and hurry Dr. J's laboratory. Why the fuck is it... Why do you call it a star if it is a yo-yo? I don't like... I don't like... You are now at chapter one. Okay, cool. I was just seeing what other buttons did anything. Select... Did a thing. Are you gonna get out of my way now, sir? Oh, you're Dr. J's nephew. Here's the tunnel. Good luck. Alright. So, this is not the part of the game I remember seeing clips of, by the way. Oh, what the fuck? I'm the shaman and sister of the island chief. Your uncle is abducted because he found a secret in the lost ruin. I have great hope that you will succeed in rescuing Dr. Jones. Just like your North Star, island sailors look for the Southern Cross. Mike! Many wild monsters await you in the dark below. But remember, the magic of the Southern Cross is always on your side. Now begin the test of the Kurt! Good luck. Now saving your data. Refrain from turning power off or resetting. Sweet. This is the part of the game I've seen before. When I say part, I mean like how it looks. Okay, so our yo-yo is a weapon. Just gonna thwack and do some bitches with a yo-yo, because we nessin. We nessin up in here. So when he jumps, he doesn't have any forward momentum. That is very odd. Can you not jump over things? You just jump? Alright, well, we'll see how it works. Let's go. We gonna yo-yo. You can't play with my yo-yo. What? What? Don't try to fuck with me. Don't try to fuck with me. Very Zelda so far. Very Zelda. Very Zelda. So far we've collected two whole stars. Enjoy. I don't know if I can fall in the water or not, but I'm not going to take the chance to do it on purpose. Just to, tre just to test it out. Maybe I can like... Okay, you can jump over gaps if you press the jump button when you're at a gap. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of a weird jumping system, then. Oh, shit. Yo. I'm a genius, dude. I solve puzzles like a champion. You don't even know my champion puzzle solvage right now. Bruh. Bruh. You didn't know I was capable of solving such things. Not first try like that. Uh, well, I was gonna kill the rat, but I guess it doesn't matter. Fuck you, rat. Well, I really thought we were going to get some Zelda, but man, we got the next closest thing, I think. At least from what's on the actual list. This is very Zelda. Like, who, who came up with the idea for this game? Weird, weird concept. Yo, I'm genius. The voice of a generation. Yes, you and you get your Voice of a generation. Ow. 
I am a genius. You do not tell me that I do not get it. Do 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 do. Fuck you, you motherfucking snail. Fuck your shit and fuck you in your face. I don't know what the purpose of hitting all these buttons is. Maybe to get through the doors. But I'm gonna murder all your snails, bitch. Bats! The worst! Got him. Any specials? Gotta be something else in here, right? Gotta be something. Gotta be a key. Hidden shit. Nothing? Just a room that's got a skeleton face to it. Cool. It's a sad skeleton man face. So very sad. What a sad story, bruh. Can't help but wonder if there's another secret on one of these damn platforms. I really can't. I must know. Even if it's nothing, I must know. <gasps> Secrets! Oh, secret finding fool I is. Okay, hold on. Before I do that, though, let's see what's over here. I see. So the secret I just found was, like, required, basically. Also, ow. Fucking bats. Fucking bats. Ace hoes. Alright, make sure there's no secrets on any of this shit. I got to know. I don't know how secret this game's gonna be, man. Whole lot of nothing. Gotta love that whole lot of nothing, baby. Alright, hold up. Hold up, enough. I got to go the right way. The door's still open any motherfucking way. Ooh, a treasure! Ooh, a treasure! Ooh, a secret. Ooh, it's a thing. I got a torch or something. Pretty sure that's a torch. Okay, you press select to switch weapons. Fireball torch thing. Okay, save it for whatever you need it for. I don't want to use it just to use it. We might need it for something. At this point, we're just fighting shit we can kill with the damn yo-yo. Especially since the fireball seems to have a limited use. Need to be careful. I'm down to one heart, y'all. Drop a heart. Holy moly. Okay. That was probably a good idea. Um... I guess I did it. I did it. This room sounded dangerous. Like I was about to fight some hard shit. Yo, treasure. Ooh, just more fireballs, yo. Gotta love the low heartbeat. It's the best sound ever. Uh. Shit. Shit. Nobody wants to drop a damn heart? Good lord. Hurting over here, dog. Oh my god, what the hell are you? Taking your time. No! Oh my god. Fireballs, man. Ah! I got him! 
Oh, I'm so good at the video game. You don't even know how good I am at the video game, dude. Let's go, bro. I'm kind of surprised I did that without dying when I had half a heart. Didn't even get hit, bro. Let's go, baby. Gonna get that first piece of the Triforce or whatever? Hell yeah. Alright. First taste of, of this game's dungeons? Indeed. Alright. Wow, you've done it! Hell yeah, I've done it. Now saving your data. Sick! Alright. Yay! Allegory got a new 25k bit badge. Yay, 25k. Consider it a respectful gift for how you have the patience to have been doing this shit for like seven years or something. Props. I appreciate that, Allegory. It's actually gonna be eight years in a week. February 1st is my anniversary of doing this shit. Eight years. Eight motherfucking years. Holy moly. Fucking ridiculous. Never, never did I think I would do this for eight years. For real, though. Hi, I'm ba Babu. Babu, I'm Dr. J's assistant. Mike, you know how uh, you know Dr. J has a submarine called Sub C, right? The ID code to start the engine of the Sub C is 1492. 1492. I memorized the ID code. Sweet, I don't have to remember that. Please get on board the Sub C in the laboratory. I wish I could tell you more, but I'm afraid of of. Don't be afraid. Thank you. It has been dedication. Um, what was the first... What was my very first video? So my very first video, technically, was like an intro I'm gonna start Let's Playing video. I don't know what the fuck I was doing when I made that shit. But my actual first, like, Let's Play gameplay video is Mega Man 2. It's horrible. Don't watch it unless you want horribleness. And when I say horrible, I don't necessarily mean the commentary. I mean the sound quality is horrible. It's very bad. You will turn your speakers down to negative one to listen to it. It's bad. I've also replayed Mega Man 2 twice since then. I've played it as a one-off Wednesday, and I also played it as Mega Man uh, 2 uh, on uh, 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 the collection, when I played the classic collection. How many times did I die? Only a handful. I'm actually good at Mega Man 2, bro. It was not a blind playthrough. Mega Man 2 is one of my all-time favorites. Anyway, we're gonna meet Rob the Robot over here. I don't know what the fuck this purple robot guy is about, but he's adorable. In the cockpit of Sub C. Welcome on board. I am the navigational computer of Sub C. Call me Navcom. Input the ID code now. ID code 1492. Start engine. Aye, aye, Captain. Sub C is ready to launch. All head full. Well, I guess the adventure begins, my friends. Fuck Island C, we out. Number two, dolphins. After a few hours voyage, Subsea is still cruising on the ocean. Oh, we actually get to control it, nice. All right. I love how I made it sound like a menace, like, I'm gonna make Let's Play videos. Nah, it was more like an announcement thing for, you know, the zero people who uh, had it were already on my channel. I don't really know why the hell I decided to make the announcement thing, like, people were gonna fucking know who I was. I've just, I was like, I decided to play Let's Play, or make Let's Play videos, blah, 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 blah. Like, it was a very short video, just announcing I was gonna do it. I was like, why did I even make this video? I think I either... I think I either the private did that video or something. I don't know what I did with that video. You, I don't think you guys can get to that video anymore. I still have it, but it's bad. Like, there's no nece necessity for it. Also, yes, my health has increased. Thank you for pointing that out, X Gamer. I now have five hearts. Nice. Anyway, I gotta speak dolphin real quick. So hold on. Don't mind me. I just gotta speak dolphin real quick. Um. Um, dang it. I was gonna say I was gonna do a dolphin voice, but really? There's no dolphin voice. I was looking at my voice mod thing, I'm like, do I have a dolphin voice? No, there's only a gorilla voice. So if there's a gorilla in this game, and he has a- and he talks like this... I'm doing a gorilla voice. But anyway... 
คิคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุยคุ All right, I got him out in this vast ocean of ridiculousness. It's probably over here, right? Totally. All right, welcome to this place. That dolphin reminds you of Echo the Dolphin with that damn whistle. But hey, it was a great game. I'd, I'd probably play Echo the Dolphin someday, just to tr just to, just for funsies. I never really gave it a chance. Anyway, welcome to the lighthouse with this guy. Hello, I maintain the lighthouse. So you're looking for a boy dolphin. Sorry, but I have not seen him. Oh, please visit my wife at our south house. She enjoys company. Also, I might have had some tuna yesterday. Could have been dolphin. Not sure the difference. Oops. <sighs> Just let the game make those noises? Nah, dude. Nah, dude. I gotta dolphin it. I gotta make a dolphin voice. I wonder if I could make a dolphin voice on the voice mod. There, like I said, there's a gorilla, but... No dolphin. Also, uh-oh. Can I get past any of this shit? Am I supposed to go around in the boat? I can't go over this tree, right? No, I cannot. Anyway, apparently Dragon has seen my original video on my channel and thought it was pretty cringe, and I kind of agree. That's why I kind of took it down. I took down a handful of stuff that was pretty cringe from early part of my channel. Um, mostly stuff that was my face was on screen. Most of it was teaser slash other weird, like, intro slash announcement type videos that were not necessary to keep up for any reason because they were irrelevant. There was nothing in them other than the announcement. There was no silliness. Not really, anyways. Anything that had any entertainment value to it pretty much kept that stuff. Are there tunnels to go through? Oh, okay. Secret. Didn't see those. Okay, so there must be more of those. I didn't. I didn't see that, but I, I guess I see there's like little, little wavy spots. I get it. I get you. I got you, video game. Good call though. Thanks for the heads up, because I probably would have took a few minutes to notice that. Saved us a couple minutes of wasted time. X gamers like fuck it. I'm not wa letting him waste time. I gotta go to sleep. Anyway, welcome, welcome. It's so seldom my husband and I get visitors. So you're looking for a boy dolphin? Sorry, but I have not seen him. He hasn't visited my house before. But early this morning I saw a bottle on the beach. I wonder if it's a clue to the lost dolphin. Why the fuck would a... You know what? It's a video game. Let's, you know... Why the fuck would there be a bottle on the beach from a dolphin? Like, seriously, bitch? You gotta be kidding me. Are you fucking... Are you for reals right now? You're not for fakes, you're for reals. Also, can I get to that heart over there? I would like it. I would like to obtain said heart. Can I get through here? Huh. Well then, how do I get to the bottle? How do I get to the bottle? That bitch ain't a model, cause I gotta get, get, get to the bottle. Take that bitch to the bottle. What? Take that bitch to the bottle. I must be able to go around. I don't think I can go through the shallows, though. Nope. Gotta go around another way, maybe? Ah, <sighs> there's a part in the game where I'm gonna have to know a specific code to progress. Well, I can't wait for that, X Gamer. Can't wait for that. Can I not go around this? I think this is like the edge of the area. So, uh, okay, this is a waste of time. Can't go around that. That's for sure. So, okay. Maybe I gotta talk to to. Mm, uh, I mean, all I have is the fucking yo-yo-yo, which I won't let you play with. 
You're welcome. Sell my husband. So you're looking for a boy dolphin now. So oh, they don't—they don't have new dialogue or anything. No. I want a hit. No. No hints. Not yet, anyways. I don't know how cryptic this fucking game is. So. Can I go around the back of this? The answer was yes, but no. It doesn't do anything. Huh. Hmm. Oh, hum, hum. I wonder if I should go talk to the lighthouse guy. And if not, then I guess we we'll have to go find something else to do, because there's not much else going on over here. There might be some other shit going on in the world, though. Tell has some huge some tunnels. Try searching for them. Please visit my wife. Okay, so he tells you about the tunnels. And I also visited his wife. should have asked her if she wanted to meet personally this uh, ace baseball star, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, ho-hum, ho-hum. Maybe I gotta go back to the dolphin mom and be like, yo, bitch, yo, yo, son, there's a bottle. I can't get to it. Go get it. I'm just curious how far I can even travel. Exploring the bounds of the map is interesting to me. Far to the left, let's go. It can't go forever, can it? Can it? Can it? Yeah, okay, it can. Yes, yes, it can. That's interesting. You can go to the left as far as you want, but it always... So I'm, okay, so I'm missing something here. That's really all it comes down to. Okay. Well, let's look for some more secret passages. Hmm. Hum. Hamana hamana ha. Shamananaya. Just looking for some secret passages. The thing with the code I mentioned earlier is that it can only be obtained with a specific trick using the game map provided in the box. Really? They'd have a cryptic thing like that? that sounds pretty booty. Huh. Man. I'm a little bit at a loss, because it seems like I need to get to the other side, right? Like, that's what it seems like. But how would you do that? That code was never mentioned in the game, only that you have to spill water on the map to find it. Oh, that's... That's a pretty a-hole move, I gotta, I gotta say. <sighs> well... I'm already at my first fucking brick wall. Not sure what to do. I'm actually... Not sure... <laughs> I keep going left and I go back to the right a little bit. Yeah, see, it just stops. It's like, there's like basically a stopping point, like right about here. Those dark, wavy parts look like I might be able to dive down. I was thinking that, but like, is there a certain button combination I need to press to do that? Because the only thing that seems to do anything is select. I mean, I'm in a submarine, don't get me wrong. I would under I could understand. I know, I noticed this, but like, what do you press? Select doesn't work. 
A and B don't do it. The directionals don't do it. A and B at the same time? I mean, it's an NES controller. There's only so many things you can do. And diving certainly wouldn't make sense. This is supposed to be a submarine. I get that, but like... Holding the button down. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Because of that, you engraved the code in your mind for over 20 years? Dang, man. Crazy. Well, I might just have to stop for tonight. I mean, not because I can't figure this out. Because I can't. But, uh... Because if I sit here and try and figure it out for much longer, I'll be going for much longer than I really want to. But we got a little taste of the game, which is all I really wanted to do, since I figured this was going to be one of those games I was going to want to come back to and actually beat. So, I maybe I'll just leave it at this cryptic, weird fucking ending, because at this point, I really can't figure out what to do. Okay, I figured out what to do, guys. I did it. I'm a genius. Don't mind me. I figured it out. I got a bottle. There's a note in the bottle. Will you read it? Help! Captured by evil aliens. Tell my nephew to use the code 1776. Dr. J. I did it, guys. I did it. You want to read it again? Nah. Wow. Well, that didn't help fucking find the dolphin, I can tell you that. But also, holy moly. I can't believe I found that, guys. I'm pretty proud of myself right now for finding that, so that's cool. Can I go in here too? Man, I'm wondering how you get that damn, that damn, 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 damn part. I'm guessing I still have to go the other side. But anyway, I think I really am going to stop here, by the way. This is a good place to just kind of like, okay, now that we have an idea of what to do, because we've got a new code, we can probably just, you know, enter it into the thing and booyah booyah, have a new destination. So, again. Star Tropics. Good time. I'm having fun. I will probably be getting back to this possibly next Friday, depending on uh, what the plan is. That's probably what we're going to do. I'm probably going to play this next Friday. But yeah. Good times.